Once you have finished a pose or scene, you probably want to take a screenshot from a chosen camera angle to then use as a reference for your drawing. Tapping the screenshot button on the top menu will by default take a screenshot of the current camera view in your scene. All your screenshots are taken with the best settings, so even if you have to work on the lowest graphics quality setting, your screenshots will look nice and crisp. On PC or Mac, you can also resize your window to get the frame dimensions you want. By default, if you switch to windowed mode through the icon in the top menu, you will have a perfect square frame. In the settings menu, you can also find more options to fine tune the screenshot settings. That includes transparency, which will only capture the models and objects in your scene. Meaning, the background will be transparent. These screenshots can easily be used as a base layer in image editing software like Photoshop or Procreate. You can also disable both the mannequin watermark that is visible by default and the user interface on the top and bottom of the screen. Lastly, there is 360 mode, which takes multiple screenshots from all the angles in one take. By default, it will take a screenshot from all the preset angles in the view menu. So, it will take screenshots from the front, back, left, right, top and bottom side of the model. In this tutorial, we talked about saving custom views with these buttons. If there are any custom views set, 360 mode will then record these instead to screenshots. Handy if you want to use multiple camera angles from the same scene. You can check out the full playlist of mannequin tutorials here. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.